and you are listening to Brother Leo Muhammad from the Nation of Islam in the UK. I was going to come out and actually give you the greetings of Assalamu Alaikum. There's a couple of Muslims in the house. But the reason I didn't do that is because there's Jamaicans in the house. <laughs> now because you know, Jamaican people, wait a second, Assalamu Alaikum. Misunderstandings in Jamaicans. It's very easy to have misunderstandings in Jamaicans. And the thing is that when you have a misunderstanding with a Jamaican, you can actually die. <laughs> I was in Jamaica in 1994 and uh, there was an Orthodox Muslim took out his prayer mat and put it down in the middle of the marketplace and start to pray. Now, if you did that in England, you'd get a few curious people in Luxor and they go about their business. Not Jamaica. A crowd gathered. Where am I doing? Oh, what, what, what do you, what do you? A brother came with a stick. Get up my way, I Now, Brother Leo, in the UK, many regard you as the premier in black stand-up comedy with your unique brand of edutainment. What is edutainment? What inspired you to do stand-up comedy? And does comedy really have a place in the black liberation struggle? Yes, sir. That's a very good question, brother. The term edutainment is a term that I believe was coined by the great rapper uh, KRS-One in order to give a designation and a name, a type to the type of music that he was inspired to produce. And the term edutainment is a combination, a compound of education and entertainment mixed. And what we try to do and what I try to do with my brand of edutainment is to do a form of stand-up comedy where I make the people laugh, but at the same time I teach and I inform and I try to raise the spirit and the chest and the heart and expand the breast of the audience so that by the time they leave the theater or wherever the performance has taken place, they are entertained in that they feel good but at the same time they may be nodding their head and saying man that was true and I can actually do something about my condition as a people so that's the principle uh, behind edutainment and you know brother laughter is an absolute important part of healing and you know as a people we have been tremendously wounded we have been tremendously damaged as a result of our 400 year sojourn in slavery and the aftermath of slavery in particular when you think about some of the things which our brothers and sisters in North America have had to go through in terms of the lynchings and the you know the overt racism and those types of things and then when you go into the Caribbean and you look at the kind of you know um, desperation of how we live in those parts and even when you go to the continent of Africa and you look at the uh, terrible conditions in which we still live in the year 2011 in tin shacks while other people who are not indigenous Africans live in high-rise luxury and so you know a part of our struggle is that we must learn how to laugh because laughter is a fundamental part of healing and it has been proved by scientists and there are many 
philosophical people today who will tell you that a smile, laughter, is actually very, very therapeutic in the process of healing the wounded soul. Whether you are physically ill or whether you are mentally and spiritually ill, if somebody can cheer you up and make bring up your tone level and make you feel happy about yourself, feel better about yourself, that goes a long way towards the healing process. The other thing that we should consider is that, you know, if you study warfare, and even these Europeans, when they go to war, be it the First, Second World War, Vietnam, and all of these other theaters of war, because, you know, brother, they never, ever been a moment where these people are not at war. When I say these people, I mean these Western uh, so-called governments uh, and nations, America and Britain, France, Germany, all of them, if you study what they do, they send their entertainers, they send their comedians, be it Bob Hope or whoever the singers are of the day, Frank Sinatra, whoever. They send them into the war zone to entertain the troops. And it's part of boosting morale. And whether we really appreciate it or not, as a people, we are absolutely at war. We've been at war for 6,000 years and more specifically and more um, alarmingly, over the last 400 plus years in terms of the slavery we have been a defeated army we have been a people who have been broken especially the man and as a result of that our women have been taken as booty and as a process of a morale boosting and to make a comeback and to actually start the fight back we need uh, to entertain our troops we need to edutain our troops by telling the truth but doing it in such a way that we don't depress the spirit we actually raise the spirit hence edutainment it's a very important vehicle and again i heard the honorable lewis farrakhan describe it in this way on one occasion where he said that we come into in the tradition of the doctor and you know a wise doctor when he gives medicine to a patient, quite often medicine tastes bitter. But what the wise doctor will do or the wise pharmaceutical will do, he will sugarcoat the medicine capsule in order that when it's first administered, it tastes sweet to the patient and then it can go down and do its bitter work of healing. And so we are trying to be wise in the way in which we give the word and help the struggle in that we don't always have to just give it straight and sometimes too serious because our people have been so destroyed brother that quite often we can't take it like that and so we attempt to give it in the form of edutainment and the final thing I would say on that is that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad would often uh, admonish us and advise us to work cheerfully he would say, work cheerfully. It's part of our teachings. That as we go about this work, it is important that we do it in a cheerful manner. Because if we become too depressed, it can actually make us ill. And it can actually stunt our ability to be successful in this battle. Thank you very much, my brother. And I know that you have won or been awarded a number of awards for your stand-up comedy.